Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to another video. I thought we'd do, as it's coming to the end of the year, I just wanted to give you a little update on stuff that's going on um, over the sort of Christmas period and my tale of woe. Um, <laughs> this is going to be a real weird video to watch. Um, so if you're just here for Football Manager and stuff, then move along, shuffle along to, to the next video and stuff. Um, as many of you, I've spoken briefly a little bit about it in a video and, and um, on Twitch a little bit without any sort of details and stuff. Because, you know, you know, private life. There is certain things I like to keep private. Um, but, so it's been a... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Okay, it's been a tricky year. Um, all of you know by now... Um, I don't even know, how, I'm terrible with dates, so excuse me if I get everything wrong. Like, a, lo a while ago, like, a year ago, I don't know when it was, um, me and Kelly broke up, as you all know, um, and, which, you know, 10-year relationship, that sucked, but luckily we are incredibly close friends still, which has just helped things hugely. We both have our issues, but... We're sort of able to help each other through it and stuff. Um, and as you know, sort of for the last few years, I've been saving up to eventually buy a house. That was planned, obviously, with Curly, but now sort of doing it on my own and stuff. Um, just trying to... <laughs> how how deep do I want to go here? Um, so, yeah. Um, I spent the time since breaking up with Curly... Um, sort of trying to work out what it was with my life you know my my plan is to get a house and then start the dog charity and start looking after old dogs and stuff like that um and now i'm sort of doing that single the sort of thought was oh i've got you know when i'm ready got to get back into the old dating game and stuff like that which just like petrifies the living shit out of me to be honest the thought of it is dreadful and every oh the whole th i thought i was done with that stuff um so what I think I've done in the last however long, six months, nine months, um, is kind of, I sort of tricked myself or persuaded myself that I don't, you know, I don't need to be in a relationship. I don't want to be in a relationship. It's fine. I, I'm, I'm, I am quite happy on my own, on my own time. I don't sort of suffer from that sort of thing. Um, cause I'm already a hermit, so it's, that's fine. And I thought, you know what, I, you know, dedicate my life to doing the whole YouTube and the Twitch and then looking after the dogs, that can be my thing and blah, blah, blah. And I was kind of, I'd made my peace with that. I, cause just the whole dating thing, I've got plenty of anxieties that just would be horrendous for that sort of shit. Um, and then again, dates a few months ago, um, I met somebody online. Um, and we talked and we talked and we talked like every waking hour to the point where what, one of the first weeks, um, as you know, I'm on a diet and I've lost quite a bit of weight. Um, I lost six pounds, mainly thankful because a few times I forgot to eat, but also like, it felt like it was waste. I was wasting time that, I, that could be spent talking to this person, right? That sort of in deep type stuff you know how it is i'm sure lots of you have been in those relationships where that when you meet when you meet somebody and it's just all in and stuff like that and i was like oh my god i do want to be with somebody that was all bullshit that i taught myself and stuff um and then it was great for, for a couple of months um and then it went all up in a massive fireball of fire um <laughs> Which, obviously, I'm not going to go into details and stuff, but it ended very promptly. Um, I'd like to think through no fault of my own. Um, and that was kind of heartbreaking for two two reasons. Obviously, I really liked this person. That, that's, that, that was awful and stuff. Um, and then... Also, the fact that I'd realised that I'm not okay being single, which then opens up a whole can of worms about meeting people and stuff like that. So then that's just like piled on top of it. Um, so I've been, as many of you know, I've been sort of struggling very much so on and off uh, for the last couple of months. And now obviously with the house stuff, um, 
I need a bigger deposit for the house because I'm now getting a mortgage on my own instead of a couple and stuff like that. So it's all sort of been piled on top of each other. And then with the COVID stuff, which is not really an issue for me because I'm already a hermit, but like I can't even go back and see my mum because she's in the sort of very high vulnerable group um, at Christmas and stuff to just sort of get away for a bit. So like it's all sort of piled on and I've missed a few videos and I missed a few streams and, and stuff. Um, so as, as, Many of you know, I've got the one club save coming up. Um, and it's been kind of sitting there waiting for me to do. And I just have zero motivation. Like, it's just not in my head at the moment to be creative and be be silly. Like, I'm really enjoying playing Football Manager. Yep, I'm playing the game and I'm really enjoying the streaming where I just hang out with my mates. That has been like, just just hanging out with people and chatting and we had some really serious conversations as well as being silly and stuff and that has helped dramatically and I've got a few very close friends that have helped a lot and stuff um but every time I sort of sit down I think okay I've got to do the intro video for the one club save and set up all the fundraising stuff and like you know do something silly and I just it's just not there and it's not I've not fallen out with YouTube at all it's an or I love and I can't wait to get the one club save started it's just my mental health at the moment is um not great it's very up and down um so ooh. come on i'm not gonna do any cuts <laughs> i don't do i don't do editing i'm not okay pull him pull back in um and and then what's happening is that i'm then getting stressed because i'm sort of putting it back putting it back a day or i'll do it at the weekend or okay i'll do it on monday or i'll do it after the street or like and then I'm stressing about the fact it's not come out and that's not doing me any good. Then that's just sort of, you know, snowballing the the mental health issues and just being down and struggling a bit with motivation and everything like that. So what I'm going to do, um, purely for my own benefit, because I need to, is um, the One Club Stave will be starting in the new year. So I'm going to have, I'm recording this at three o'clock and well, 21st of December, um, and it'll probably come out tomorrow. Um, is I'm just going to go, you know what, it's, uh, uh, you know, it's Christmas and everything, is, is take like 10 or so days off, but I know I don't have to do anything on the YouTube front and stuff, um, I'll probably do like a, um, the end of season Twitch journeyman review and stuff, because that's just a little fun thing I can do after the stream and stuff, just to keep you updated, but I need to not have this little thing in the back of my head saying, hey, look, come on, you need to do this now, um, I'm sure, you, I'm sure you will get it, um, but like, it's it's been a struggle. And even when I did my video where I announced that the journeyman was going on Twitch, which to be fair, I've talked about for like months and months and months because I've talked about doing the one club save first and stuff. There was a few negative comments on it. Um, not very many, there never is. Most, 95% of people are really supportive. Um, but there was a few saying that I was moving to Twitch because I'm a money grabber. Um, and there was a few people um, almost like demanding that it be on YouTube and stuff. And I totally get if Twitch is not your thing. Totally understand it. It's not for everyone, et cetera, et cetera. You can watch all the VODs back if you're not, but I get, you know, totally get why people wouldn't want to watch it. Um, but I've got to say, on behalf of all of YouTube and the free content that you're provided with, we don't actually owe you anything. I know Journey Women is my thing, but also a good thing sometimes needs to be rested and do something else. We'll come back to it, like I said, at the end of the one club save, we might do a mini journeyman. Um, and I just thought it'd be a really fun, th I had so much fun with the Brazil regen save on Twitch that I thought, oh, let's do the journeyman on Twitch and I'm having a whale of a time. Um, but prob the problem is when you're up and down, like a whore's draws, um, is that I those negative comments that I'm normally incredibly good at ignoring, it doesn't get to me at all, then start affecting you even if it's just a couple and to the point where now I have anxiety where I can't read my comments um <clears throat> just for the certain videos and stuff um where I discuss plans and everything like you know it might be a struggle to what look at these comments on this video because then I'm sure there'll be some dickhead um and but it's not for twit it's it's not the, the only thing I feel and it's like say we don't I don't, we don't owe you anything as content creators. We make the content that you all get for free. Um, 
So I'm not going to apologize for doing what I want because that would just be silly. Um, and I know 99% of you know that that's how it works and everything. I do, however, feel bad um, for people that support me on Patreon quite a bit because although I made it very clear that you don't get any, any extras with Patreon, you don't get extreme, like exclusive content and you don't get early content and you don't get exclusive Q&As or videos on Patreon. You get nothing. You get a name in the credits and a thank you. Um, so you're not exactly owed anything, but also with the lack of YouTube content and taking some time, a little bit of time off and stuff, um, I, it, I do feel guilty. Um, so if there is any Patreons, and I know it's a fucking really difficult time, it's Christmas, we've had COVID for the last nine months, so I know money's tight for a lot of people, so if, if you are a Patreon, um, and feel free to cancel, like, I'm only going to be gone for 10 days, I'm not like disappearing from YouTube at all, I'm just, I just need a little break, just to get my head sorted, and then I'll be back in full force, but I just want to say that if, if that's, um, you know, bothers you or whatever. If you're a Patreon and you and you're you don't you feel guilty about cancelling it, please don't. You know, never feel guilty about cancelling your Patreon and stuff like that. The support I get is is on Patreon, on YouTube, on Twitch, and everything is absolutely bonkers and stuff. And I never feel it. I never want anybody to feel like they are sort of feel guilty for cancelling or not subscribing on Twitch or, or you know, all the myriad of things that people do, even watching ads and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, it's fine if anybody wants to cancel and stuff, but at the end of the day, and I know this will put me back a bit for the whole buying a house and stuff like that, but it's kind of a toss-up. Like, I'm desperate to move house, but I can't do that at the cost of my mental health i can't force that to happen by just putting out videos and stuff like that and extra content and stuff like i normally do at the end of it's like the timing's been fucking ho horrible like all this shit happened as the new game dropped and i've just about hung on to making a save with the venlo stuff and everything because i just i like i said i'm really enjoying playing the game that's a not it's a great escape and and fun and making simple videos but all the extra stuff that i normally do um is it like it's really at the end of the day when you're depressed it's really hard to make a funny skit um and i'm not saying like it's it's full on depression. Depression is such a weird word now, like it's a big label. I'm just saying I'm feeling down. I'm not going to label it. When you're feeling like shit. Um, but as we approach the end of the year, also I just want to say that um, the Twitch streams will continue. I might take a day off here and there um, if, if they're bad days and stuff. Um, but also I'm going to be streaming on Christmas Day um, and New Year's Eve. For a couple of reasons, mostly because I'm not with family anyway. Um, I've never been really been into partying New Year New Year's Eve partying for the last sort of ten years, and I also know that there's a ton of you guys that are alone or can't be near family, or you're working away, or the COVID doesn't allow you to see family and stuff. So it's going to be a tough year for all of you, so, all of us. So I wanted to do a stream on Christmas Eve. We'll just do something fun. We'll play marbles and I'll give away some prizes and stuff or something like that. That we can just have a laugh and hang out as mates. As family. Our little family. The Loki Ultra family. Um, and just hang out and stuff. So if... Or, on the flip side, you might just want to... You might be with your family and also just want to escape from your family for a few hours. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine too. Um, but And the same for New Year's and stuff. I just... I've... I've, I've done a few streams on Christmas Day and I've actually really enjoyed them and, and I think people appreciate them because it can be, even if you're not, if you're on your own, even if you're not generally a lonely person, Christmas can be a tough one, especially with, like I say, with COVID and stuff um, and the lockdown's getting crazy bad and everything. So yeah, I will be streaming Christmas Day and New Year's Day and New Year's Eve. Um, I'll, I'll tweet and put on my Discord the exact timings of everything, but it'll be in the evening. Um, obviously New Year's we'll do over over across midnight and stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the update. I know it's not the most cheery of updates in the world, but I'm not feeling the most cheery. Uh, heartbreak can be a bit of a dick. 
and then you know like i said that added to the realization that you're not okay being single but you're petrified of being in a relationship that makes it tricky and then it was almost like i don't blame this this person that i briefly was with in in that she wasn't to know like all the ongoing she knew some but she wasn't she doesn't know my what was going on in my head and stuff like that um but it it kind of almost reaffirmed why i'd sort of put myself in denial for the last nine months about being okay being single i don't need a relationship and then i was like the walls came down and i let somebody in and then i basically got punched about the head and my sort of brain's like that's why you see that's why <laughs> um yeah so i don't know if there's there's very little chance i imagine that this person will be watching um but just in case you are i don't i don't blame you um what happened happened all good um yeah just <sighs> i kind of started recording and was meant just to talk to you about the fact i wouldn't be streaming for the next 10 to, uh, i wouldn't be making videos for the next 10 or so days um and then sort of you know just spilled my guts about my failure of a love life <laughs> but that's you know that's a ramble isn't it it wouldn't be a ramble without the rambling part so that makes sense anyway so i hope you all understand i know i know you all will um but like i've always talked about we regularly talk about mental health and stuff like that on streams and videos and we've even i did a special stream where we talked about anxieties and stuff like that and and i have to take my own advice that i will give to anybody else that's making videos or streaming or whatever job it is and stuff is like and even my friends and say you know you need to focus on you and for a while i didn't and the main reason was of that because was I was worried about the money, not not so much. I don't, I don't care about being rich. I have no interest in being rich. But I thought if I started, if I took time off, obviously I would make less money by default, whether that's streaming or YouTube. And then therefore that would put me further away from buying a house, which then I was thinking might make me more depressed, more down. And that would backfire. But actually if the house is another month away or two months away, it, like that's, that's kind of the least, least of my issues right now. I need to fix me now. And like I said, I have good days and bad days. We have fun on stream and hanging out and stuff like that. And then literally today has been a day of, um, Sunday that is, has been a day of just utter, utter downness and burying my head in music which is a new discovered thing for me. I used to be massive into music, but then lost it for a while. And then the last couple of months I found it again, which has been lovely, but also, you know, when you're down, your brain doesn't say, let's put on some happy music to cheer yourself up. When you're down, your brain's like, you know what we need now? Some Lewis Capaldi. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, but I'm okay. It's not, I just need to focus on me and focus on my happiness and stuff. And like I said, I'm not, I, I feel like I'm speaking like I'm quitting YouTube. I'm not, I'm like taking 10 days, a couple of weeks, maybe even three weeks off. I just need to get that thing not in my head as a stress that's adding on to the rest of the piling on shit and stuff like that. Um, so I just want to say how long have I rambled for? Wow, 19 minutes. Holy crap, I'm sorry. Um, and finally i just want to say thank you for everything um obviously i'm going through some shit now and and this this last year has been pretty crap on a personal front um but to be honest this and, and my friends on discord and streaming have kind of kept my head above water i think it would have been a lot worse um without having this group of friends you are friends um i think i it would be bad. It would be really bad. Um, like literally, I think it was a few weeks ago. I said I just, I just kind of wanted to disappear off the internet for a bit and take a month off just entirely. Um, which, you know, doesn't help with you know having a job where you're on the internet all the time. 
but also just like the reason I couldn't and I didn't was because all my best friends are you guys basically with like um the discord we've built over the last couple of years has been has become a very special place to me and it's we hang out in voice like day all day every day we just ha you can pop in at any time and there's really nice guys and girls to hang out with and stuff like that and if i was to just to disappear i'd just miss that so much and it's been so helpful to me and stuff so um, if you're ever struggling for mental health, like honestly, join the Discord. We have a serious discussion place where you can talk about it. Or do you just need cheering up or an escape? Jump in the Discord and start chatting to people. Jump in the voice. Be brave. Jump in the. I know it's nervous the first time if there's like ten people in there and you sort of jump in and say hello. But they're all f incredibly nice human beings. We. I. The, the best thing I've ever done is creating this place that people can flock to, like-minded people. Um, generally speaking, my audience is a bit older, so it's so we all have a lot in common and stuff like that. And it's it's been so much help to me, and I'm sure many of you, especially over the Christmas periods, if you're feeling lonely or down or away from your family, like it's it's a great place to hang out. Um, but yeah, so I just want to say thank you to everyone that has. I think it's like five years now I've been doing this. This, which is madness. Um, that's that's helped me um and supported me in any way whether it's just as a friend financially or whatever and allow me to make this my actual job to the point where i can put money aside each month um so i feel like i have a future rather than just sort of chug it along um i am incredibly grateful and indebted to you forever like you know my I don't even want to think what my life would be if I haven't hadn't discovered all this. So, um, thank you very much. Uh, happy Christmas, <laughs> happy Christmas, everybody. Um, I hope you all have good Christmases and 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 stuff. And like I said, come hang out in Twitch, um, come and hang out in Discord if you're down, um, or just want to hang out and wish everybody a happy Christmas. I'd love to see lots of new faces there on Christmas Day. I understand if you've got family stuff and you can't, but we'll be doing it in the evening and then New Year's Day as well. And in in between that, we'll be doing some football manager streams with the journeyman, which I'm really enjoying. I, th I just enjoy hanging out with you guys. It's, I think I need that. I think another thing that sort of... Twitch is... Why Twitch is really important for me right now is that sort of live interaction, just hanging out with your mates. As I love... I absolutely am in love with YouTube and making videos. But at the end of the day, I make a video and then it might be a day or two later that it comes out and then I get to read comments. We're not really chatting. And I kind of... Right now need the sort of social support structure of, of having actual conversations and stuff. So... But like I said, it won't be too long. Maybe a couple of weeks... I'm not going to put a date on it because that and that would just be the stress date moved back a bit. I'm just going to say take it at least until New Year and then see how it goes. But like, just want to reaffirm, just for anyone that's in a tight situation or doesn't want to, don't feel bad about cancelling your Patreon. Like, I really get it. It's a horrible time of year. COVID, me not doing that many videos for the new game. I know, uh, you know, I, I, I feel a letdown to my patrons and stuff, but... It is what it is, and I've got to focus on me. So I'll see you in the new year, unless, you know, you want to come in the stream, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, um, usually is the stream in the evenings, um, and keep abreast on Twitter and Discord, I said breast. Um, so thank you very much for watching my ramble. Um, I love you all very much. I'm sort of trying to work out in my head right now if I should edit out the personal, it's not that personal. Oh, fuck it. I think it's important to talk about it. Us men are shit at talking about stuff, so I'm going to just leave it all in. And I'm sure many of you have been in similar positions and stuff like that. So if it gets people talking, then it all helps, right? Because we suck at that, us men. Because, you know, we're big, hard men, and etc. Talk about feelings. Let's just talk about Arsenal's predicament instead. No, let's talk about feelings. It's good. I love you all very much, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.